Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by. Now I've got a quick book review for you today. This is Favorite Flies by David Klausmeyer. I just picked this up last week, published in April of this year, 2020. Now you might know David Klausmeyer. He's been the editor of Fly Tire Magazine for the last 20 years. And despite the cute old English spelling of the word tire, it's a great magazine. If you're not a subscriber, consider it. It's well worth it. Okay, so back to Favorite Flies. This is a hefty book. Cover price on this thing is $25, but it's 600 pages. It's got 380 pages, 199 trout flies, and then the last 220 pages are 101 saltwater flies. Now, the trout flies are arranged pretty much like you'd expect. It's got the first chapter on dry flies, then some midges, then some attractor patterns, and some terrestrials. Then you go into a couple of chapters of old classic wet flies. And then the biggest chapter I think is nymphs. He has like 74 nymphs in it. So the first 380 pages are some really, really cool trout flies. So let's look at a couple of these real quick. This first one, see that? That's a hot legs hopper. And this is how most of the book is arranged. You've got a picture of the fly, the recipe under it, and then a couple of paragraphs of, uh, you know, background or history on the fly. Now, here's another one, a very classic old school winged wet fly. See this, Bergman's Fontanalis. Some of you may know that Fontanalis just means brook trout. And you might know Bergman as the Ray Bergman who wrote the 1938 book, Trout, that I have on the shelf back there. Pretty much the Bible for old winged wet flies. Now, one other note, this is not really a how-to book. It's not a book for beginners that's gonna teach you how to tie. There are a few pages like these right here that do walk you through some of the steps, but there aren't that many pages like that. So that's about it for the trout flies. Now, the last 220 pages of saltwater flies, it's got three chapters. Let me just flip to one of these randomly. Okay, Captiva Cannibal. See that right there? That is a pretty cool looking fly. But again, it's not one that I'm ever gonna tie. I'm not a saltwater fly fisherman. But if you are, you know, hey, check out this book. Now, of course, some of these saltwater flies could be tied smaller and could be fished for, you know, the big muskies and the pikes for some of our tires up in the northern states. And you can even use some of these bait fish in your warm water ponds if you're a smallmouth or a big mouth bass fisherman. But I'm pretty much a tailwater fisherman from the mid-Atlantic, so I'm not really gonna tie a lot of these big saltwater flies, but you know, plenty of you out there are, it's, and the book might be worth checking out for you. So in a nutshell, is this book worth $25? Absolutely. Even if it didn't have the last half of saltwater flies, the first 380 pages are worth the $25 to me. Now, as this is Savage Flies, with one of the missions of giving back to the fly tying community, I'm gonna give an extra copy of this away. You know how we do this? Leave a comment in the description if you're interested. This time, use the hashtag cowdung. Kind of fun, it's a fly I tied yesterday for the channel. Pretty old school pattern. In fact, I got it out of this book. So that's it my friends, thanks for watching. Take care, we'll see you next time.